I'm going to play solitaire for Siamese Mahjong using Wright Patterson Mahjong rules. If you don't know how to play yet, there's a link below the video to the lesson playlist. In a nutshell, it's two players playing two hands at one time. Player one plays for east and south. Player two plays for west and north. It's a lot of fun. If you haven't tried it yet, find a friend and learn how to play. And let me know what you think. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I'm going to roll for prevailing. I rolled a six. So south is prevailing. I'll put a two on the dice. Player one plays for east and south. Player two plays for west and north. Player one gets 28 tiles, player two gets 27. I'm gonna use this to mark whose turn it is. So I'll deal out the tiles and we'll get started. Both players have their tiles now. Let's see what we can do for player one. Okay, so let's see what we have here. We do have uh, quite a few BAMs, not as many cracks and dots. We do have honors here though, including uh, pairs, north, red, here's a one and a nine and a pair of nine BAMs. There are several things we could look for here. One is a date hand because we've got lots of dragons. We only have one multiple though. You really need more multiples of dragons. I think, let's count how many honors we have. Uh, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. That's, oh, 12. 12 honors. That's pretty good. We have one, two, three pair there. I was just thinking this, this hand here, let's just move these up here and these down here because this hand is almost ready on dazzle five pairs in one suit with red white and green dragon and one dragon paired all we need we have one two three we just need two more pair here that's one opportunity right there and then the other opportunity might be news lineup News lineup is a sequence hand on page 18. Sequence of one and nine in one suit with news and one win paired. We'd have to throw away a pair of sevens though. So I'd rather leverage that. So let's see if there's something else we could do. I was thinking of neutrality. Neutrality is a number hand. Let's see here. We have eight, 10, 10 towards news lineup. But if we played neutrality, which is a pung of Norse, a pair of fives, and then a pung of each, a different number in each suit, we have sevens, here's threes and twos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine tiles. See, but this, we have so many more. I think I would like to go ahead and try for two simple hands. If we do double Mahjong, they'll both be doubled. So they would end up being double limits if we do a, if we do a um, double Mahjong. 
this one is two, like two tiles away from being ready. So let's see what we can do for player two and just keep that in mind. Either way, we did not use any of these tiles right here. So let's discard those, keep these in case we decide to play neutrality with north and five. So let's go ahead and see what we can do for player two. Okay, more cracks than anything. We have a pair of sevens. One, two, three, potential chow, potential, I'm thinking Pung Chow up here. We have two pair though. I think I would hold the red for a potential Valentine, which is six pairs in one suit with the corresponding dragon. We still need an option down here though. We have two pair with a seven nine. We could play little one five seven nine. That's punks of ones, five, sevens, and nines in two or three suits with a pair of either ones or nines. That's called little one five seven nine. That's a single limit hand, page 23, number 50. So if we were to do that, I think I would hold all the dots in case dots came in, maybe even dots with news, maybe news lineup or razzle, which is five pairs with news. So I think I would go ahead and get rid of that green, that white dragon and then hold all the odds here, one five. I think I would start by discarding those. Okay, let's see. If you would do something different, write in the comment section below the video what you would do differently. Let's go ahead and get started by discarding a two dot. And we can draw for player two, green dragon. Okay, green dragon. Now we could play one, two, three, we'd have to throw away two dazzle which is five pairs with red white and green dragon and one dragon paired i think i would hold on to that let's go ahead and discard let's see i was just thinking of a hopscotch hand but one two three six eight we could play dragon lineup here all we need is a five crack and a pair any of those dragons paired that would leave this down here for a potential hopscotch hand it's called scotch hopper because i think we would need two sets of two four six eight and then one three five seven nine in a third suit with a pair of either ones or nines i believe that is correct scotch hopper two four six eight and two suits one three five seven nine and a third suit with a one or a nine paired either way we probably could get rid of the one and the five right there and still maybe focus on one suit with wins so let's go ahead and discard the one bam so we're between dots and honors half half flush or scotch hopper Let's draw for player one. Eight dot. There's a pair there, but we really don't need it. Let's discard this four dot and draw for player two. North. Okay, so this news is coming in. Either way, we don't need the five bam. We're going to draw now for this player. Now, dragon lineup, we need or dazzle is what we were thinking. That's a concealed hand, so we need to draw. Two dot, we can discard that. Drawing for player two. Two crack. Now for a dragon lineup, I don't think we need a pair in there. I think news lineup is the one that requires a pair in two through eight. No, dragon lineup is the one that requires a pair. 
so we needed that okay now actually we could also use it down there we need to we're at a we're at a decision point here let's count four eight ten towards one suit with winds or four six seven eight nine ten eleven we're closer to scotch hopper and it's kind of fun let's play let's go ahead and play scotch hopper and we could even use this down here for two four six eight and pair up somewhere else in here we're sharing some tiles so that's a bit of a conflict either way we do not need these tiles here let's go ahead and give up on the winds because we can always fall back on a one suit although we're really depleting that there i, th I still think scotch hopper looks good let's see if we can make it work we're going to draw for player one two dot well it's a discard and we can draw for player two five bam we can throw that five bam there's two five bams out i think we should give up on neutrality there's only one more five bam left we got a three dot though either way we don't need the eight dot now that we have a pung of three dots there let's draw for player two east pair east doesn't matter let's get rid of the north and draw for player one four crack all right four crack we now have one two pair in there let's get rid of this eight dot we do not need that let's draw for player two five crack okay that was a good tile one through nine there it is and actually we could use any of these up here all this hand is ready to win on a dragon because we have tiles down here that we could use any one of them here we just need a pair of dragons let's go ahead and uh let's see oh i drew so yeah we need to discard a east i believe let's just count i got one in my hand yeah we're gonna throw the east and we can draw for player one south north and south okay let's just look at there's a hand called repression it's a sequence hand it's number 12 on page 18 sequence of eight in a suit with three pairs of winds or dragons sequence of eight i think we should go ahead and give up on neutrality let's discard this three dot and we're going to draw for player two this is the last tile of the second wall so now we have our pair one two three and we don't have to use these down here one two three four five six seven eight nine we need either or any dragon let's discard this east so we need a three dot a four crack they're almost ready on a double mahjong already let's draw for player one three bam maybe that's a pung in there now let's discard this three dot we definitely don't need that we're gonna draw up here five crack okay we can use that as the pair and put this down here sometimes it is good to share tiles one through nine with a pair red white and green dragon one dragon paired that's what we need there two four six eight and two suits one three five seven nine and a third suit with any tile paired we need a three dot to win both of these hands are ready to win seven dot okay here we go we're gonna draw for this player seven bam that's a keeper we're gonna discard a three dot now 
there's three three dots out. We're going to declare mahjong for scotch hopper. This is, I believe, a double limit hand. Let's find out. One, three, five, seven, nine in one suit, two, four, six, eight in two suits. We'll discard the six dot. Scotch hopper is a double limit hand. Okay, so now we're ready here to draw. Six dot, that's a discard. We're gonna draw up here. One dot, we can discard that. So we need any dragon there. We're gonna draw one dot. Let's see, pair, pair, pair. We need to pair up. I think that would be dazzle. If we can get a wind in here or east, west, we'll see. Let's draw one bam, discard. Drawing for player one, three bam. Okay, we have a Kong in there now. You know what I think I would do? I think I would switch to maybe Betty up here, either Betty or use the dragons with cracks and play Pung Chow because then we could use this Kong. One, two, three, two, three, pair, or, or this could be, let's see, pair, one, two, three, potential chow, pair, you gotta have a pair, potential chow. Yeah, there's some work to be done, but I wanna try to leverage this. We could also maybe play Kong Pung. Let's look at Kong Pung. That is also a sequence hand. That is a double limit hand. Kong Pung is a sequence of one and nine in one suit with a Kong and a Pung two through eight. There's the Kong. We could Pung the two, but we need a four bam and a six bam. All right, so, and here we could maybe even play Betty. We don't need all these pairs in here though. Let's go ahead and get rid of the south. Okay, so we have four, 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 three. All, just count your tiles often, because if you're short, you, you can't win at least one hand. So be very careful with your tiles. Let's draw. West, we can discard that. And let's draw now for player one. One crack. Okay, there's another pair. One, two, three pair. We can get rid of this north and still maybe play Betty. Now Betty requires pairs of simples, so we would have to throw this away if we do play that. Let's draw for player two. South, we can throw that. Nobody wants those. Drawing for player one. Eight crack. We can keep that. Now is when we have to decide. There's a, uh, there are two, uh, we have a south, we have our north. There's one east and one west out. We'd have to throw away a pair of one band or one cracks and we'd have to throw this away too. Either way, I think we're gonna need to discard the seven crack because if we played dazzle, you can't use a Kong. So let's throw the seven crack and draw up here for player one, uh, player two. One dot. We're looking for any dragon there to win. Six crack. Okay, I'm thinking we should give up on the wins and maybe play dazzle, or we could even still switch to dragon lineup. Let's go ahead and get rid of the north. We need some bams in here to finish Pung Chow. Let's draw for player two. Three crack. Okay, now this player 
is ready on a dragon. So I'm not going to be distracted by that three crack. As pretty as it looks, we're ready to win on a dragon. Let's draw for player one. Two bam. Okay, well that was a good tile right there. Let's discard the south. So now we have one, two, three, pear, pung, potential chow, here's a chow. Yeah, there's still some work to be done here. We could do pear, potential chow, potential chow, pear, or pung, pung, pear. Yeah, there's still work to be done there. Let's draw for this player, player two. Six bam, we can discard that. This is a concealed hand, so we cannot take that. Nine crack, there's another pair. One, two, three, four. We should definitely play dazzle. So let's see, eight crack, three crack. There's already a three crack out. Let's throw that. And we're going to draw for player two. Seven dot. Player one. Five dot. Player two. Nine crack. Discard. We need either a six crack or an eight crack to win. So we're going to draw. Four dot. I think if a four, uh, six crack or an eight crack comes out, I don't know. I might still try for a double mahjong there. There's already a winning hand up here and it's a double limit. I might declare just to discount that hand. Two crack. That's a discard. Player two. West. Discard. Or sorry, that was player one. Now we're at player two. Dragon. Okay, so that was four not because player two has two mahjongs. That stops the game. So they won with Scotch Hopper, double limit hand, dragon lineup, single limit. Since they won both hands, they get the value of the first hand and double the value of the second hand. So they would get paid double, double. Double limit, two double limit hands is what they would get paid for. Two double limit hands. A double limit hand, and for Wright Patterson Siamese Mahjong, I don't think that East pays double. I think that goes away. So double for both would be two yellow chips. So this player would owe two yellow chips to this player. And, or if they're playing for money, they would pay 20 points or 20 cents to this player. And this player was ready to win but they they had worked to, they were ready to win here on either a six crack or an eight crack here i think what they probably really needed was either a six bam six bam four bam i think a six bam or a four bam would have been really helpful for them here they were very close though this was a pretty close race and it was a pretty early game too I hope that gave you a good idea of what it's like to play Siamese Mahjong using Wright-Patterson rules. I think it's very challenging and a lot of fun. It's interesting how you can see different opportunities with all the different hands. So if you thought of any other things that I could have played, write in the comments section. I think this was a relatively quick game actually. And the fact that player two was playing Scotch Hopper that required singles made it okay to share tiles with that other winning hand. Let me know what you thought about that.
If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight of the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Siamese Mahjong using Wright-Patterson rules, may all your picks be keepers.